hey guys welcome back to our channel stock my closet today i'll share how to cut kurti in a very easy way with lots of tips so let's get started this is the required measurement and i have taken 2 meter cotton fabric firstly cut out the required length including seam allowance from the fabric like in my measurement length is 32.5 inch and i'm adding 1.5 inch of seam allowance so 32.5 plus 1.5 is 34 and this length is 34 inch now double fold the fabric by half in width and then in length now I'll mark the measurements this is slightly uneven from the top so firstly I'll trim it Now on the top mark half of shoulder measurement. In my measurement shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it will be 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point mark half of armhole round, in my measurement armhole round is 14 inch, so half of it is 7 inch. I'll just extend this point. Mark 1 inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now I'll mark the vertical measurements. Vertical measurement depends on the height of the person. As you can see in this picture, I have mentioned shoulder to apex, shoulder to waist and shoulder to hip measurements. These are standard measurements and could vary person to person. So from the top mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to apex 14 inch shoulder to waist and 21 inch shoulder to hip extend these points now i'll mark the round measurements Next, I got lots of queries related to ease. Ease allowance is very important as we need to add extra inches to body measurement so that one can easily move, walk, sit, etc. If you won't add ease allowance to body measurement, either you won't be able to fit in or if you, it will be very tight. Amount of ease depends on your choice. 2 inch for fitted measurement, 3 inch for slightly loose and 4 inch or more than that for loose fit. For chest, I am adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is 31 inch. 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4, I will get 8.25 inch. For burst, I am adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 27 inch. 27 plus 3 is 30. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. For hip, I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is 37 inch. 37 plus 4 is 41. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 10.25 inch. Now I'll join these points. Extend this point till bottom with a straight line to get straight shape of kurti or slightly slant for A line kurti. Adding seam allowance. 
seam allowance is the area between the edge and the stitching line as you can see in the diagram lastly I'll draw armhole curves measure and mark midpoint on this line this is 7 inch so midpoint will be 3.5 inch mark midpoint on this line as well and from this point mark 1 inch diagonally upwards now I'll draw front and back armhole curve So with this marking of kurti is complete and now I'll cut it. So cutting of my kurti is completed. I have tried to resolve most frequently asked queries related to kurti cutting. Hope you like this video. If you do please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon till then take care bye bye.